last couple of weeks on jobs. And finally here over Memorial Day weekend, I got a chance to kind of put some of the finishing touches on it. It's not quite 100% done. There's a few more things I want to do, but I'd say she's 90% done. And it's been very functional so far and the jobs we've used it on. Got uh, two or three big decking jobs and an awning job and uh, some other stuff coming up that we're gonna use it on in the next few weeks. So we're really gonna give it a good shakedown and see that it's working the way that it should. So I thought I'd give you a quick tour, kind of show you where we're at now. Like I said, we're about 90% done. If you remember, this was a six by 12 dual axle homesteader trailer. The dual axle gives me 7,000 pounds of carrying capacity. I uh, really wish I could have gotten a, a seven by 14, but I just couldn't fit it in my driveway. Hell, this, this six by 12 doesn't really fit very well in the driveway. It kind of takes up a chunk of the yard. So if that's the case, I suppose I could have, uh, you know, I suppose I could have just gotten the seven by 14, but we're gonna put a fence back over here where it belongs because uh, we're doing a full house remodel for ourselves. So let's get started and take a look at the trailer. So starting off in this corner, we've got our Husky tool chest. In top drawer, we've got wrenches, ratcheting wrenches, impact sockets, vice grips, adjustable wrenches, Allen wrenches, screwdriver drawer, hammers, Craig jig, still got some room in that drawer for a few other things. Small parts drawer, taking and uh, these bins fit just perfectly. So we can kind of bend them up over here. Uh, this one I've got uh, machine screws and bolts, uh, some nails that I just carry a few quantity of, extra straps, extra parts, got more room to put stuff in there. Pliers. Layout drawer, still got some stuff I gotta get in there yet. Little uh, demo drawer. So pry bars, punches, chisels, uh, extra recip saw blades. And then this bottom drawer, extra chargers that we take into the job site. And we've got uh, some bolts I gotta put away. Got some Romex, extra parts there. So on top of that, and this is some of the stuff I got done this weekend. Um, the Viewtainers are pretty popular but they're kind of pricey. So my family having three kids, three uh, teenage kids and a six year old, we have lots of Gatorade bottles. About the same size, heavy duty, big, nice, big, wide mouth on them. They work just the same as the Viewtainers. So really kind of nice. That uh, makes it very cheap and easy. Instead of four bucks a piece, we got those for free basically. Okay, the second shelf down, got all the drill bits, jigsaw blades, spade bits, hole saw kits, laser, hair tool oil, stapler. Some of this stuff's gonna move around so I've got more room for caulks and you know, construction adhesives, that kind of stuff. We're still trying to get everything kind of organized, but adding these magnetic strips, these are from Harbor Freight, they're like five bucks a piece. Come in 18 inch strips, so these are 36 inch shelves. So we got two of them. Gives me 36 inches to put all my blades. And these work really, really well. These are solid up there. They're not going anywhere as you're bouncing down the road. So blades are out where you can get at them. Extra bits uh, that we use commonly. You know, your Phillips head screw bits, countersink bits, so on and so forth. And for when you buy hole saws that don't fit in your kit, you can stick those right up there as well. Okay, clamps up top. Most commonly used pliers, stuff we're gonna gotta grab and go, square. That moves us over to our charger wall. So, wire the trailer. If you can kind of see it up under here. Um, bring this down a little bit here. So we can get up underneath there. So when I wire the trailer, I put in outlets that have USB ports so I can charge my phone, tablets, that kind of stuff. 
right here in the trailer when it's on shore power and eventually when we get it on uh, an inverter with battery so we've got all of our chargers here and then this box is charged batteries so if a battery is is dead needs to be charged put it right on the charger comes off right down here got a box to grab batteries out of this is kind of the workbench now this is one of the things we're going to add to we're going to put some dewalt t stacks here a couple of the probably four of the big drawers and four of the the small parts drawers to kind of give us some more storage and organization um small trailers so we're trying to use every inch that we can so uh for layouts i really like a straight edge and two foot level fits really nicely there uh, i can fit two sets of makita drills here drivers here with batteries so you can just grab a tool grab a battery and go uh, recip saws uh, i'm primarily a makita guy but some some team orange has kind of drifted in here it's finding its way in we're kind of testing out some of the new octane stuff and so far it's been pretty nice stuff they've got a, a heck of a deal going on right now where you get uh, you buy the charger so what they call their starter kit so you get a charger six amp battery and a three amp battery for 180 bucks and with that you get a free tool so i bought a couple of sets of those because i needed a, a jigsaw and it's a tool that i don't use a ton of but i do use it and i wanted an 18 volt and the makita version was like 250 bucks <laughs> so i was having a hard time justifying that and you know, along this came 180 bucks i got two batteries charger and the saw and there was a couple other rigid tools i was looking at like i needed another recip saw so i picked up the rigid recip saw here and i need an sds rotary hammer so i picked up the uh the rigid sds rotary hammer as well so i got three tools and four batteries we're going to give them a run here i may pick up one more of the battery sets i bought two of them uh, i may pick up one more here uh got my little trim router makita battery operated trim router back here got some uh bags tool bags so i can grab stuff and take it in with me if i need to uh brushless circular saw makita again everything try we're trying to set everything up for convenience quick grab and go when you've got three four five guys working out of the trailer i want to make it easy for them to get stuff and have the batteries right with the tools if not they've got a spot right here where they can come get batteries all the accessories you know router bits that kind of stuff right here with the trim router put in this little metal bar this a little piece of aluminum and just put it on some little standouts and here i put some of your most commonly used things you're going to need you're going to need you know a utility knife you're going to need some markers you're going to need tape measures got my uh, hammer holder here so i can take that out throw it on my belt and go uh got this battery little battery operated rigid led light uh it's not terrible bright but it does the job when you need to be in cabinets or installing a microwave i used it last week when i was installing an over-the-counter microwave so it works pretty well uh it was like 29 bucks pretty reasonable price i already had the batteries so underneath i've got storage for two of my rigid rolling kits we'll do a separate video on what's in those um, but but basically everything in this trailer was set up to kind of work around these rigid rolling kits uh, and i'll go into that here in just a second but back here i'm going to put a paper towel holder that's one of the little things we got to do yet this guy right here was set up for the rigid rolling kit baskets all right each basket's going to have a purpose uh, this is my paint basket right here. So I've got brushes, rollers, drop claws, that kind of stuff in there. Uh, this one's going to end up, I'm going to put my drywall tools in that one. This one right now has got some wood. I was I said I was doing, a, a, had a couple over-the-counter microwaves. So I needed some shim wood. So I just threw those in one of the baskets. Uh, but this is probably going to be plumbing tools here. And then I'm going to have a, an empty one so that if there's anything up here that I need to take with me and any of these other tools i can just grab them toss them in the basket 
clip it onto the top of the rigid rolling system and take it in with me. So it works out really, really well. So then this corner, air compressor and hose storage. Got my hose reel, a la Ron Polk. Uh, I got the Husky Quiet air compressor down here. It's got two outlets, so I keep one of them with a little collapsible hose so I can air out, spray out the trailer, get the dust out of it. Got a little blower, extra 50 foot of hose here, another 50 foot um, extension cord, six foot ladder tucked there and back, and then more cords over here. This is kind of my main cord storage. I've got a 100 footer here, and I think three 50 footers here. So I've got, you know, two, 300 feet of extension cord with me. This storage cabinet, still kind of getting everything organized, trying to figure out where everything's going to go. Um, I have some ideas, but we may, may change some of this stuff around. Up top are kind of my sanders, and uh, let's see here. So we've got uh, little tools that we use occasionally for cutting out, uh, you know, electrical boxes and switches, stuff like that, and drywall. It doesn't get used a lot. All this stuff will get upgraded to Makita. But right now, uh, you know, as, as often as I use it, it made sense to go with something a little bit less. Um, and, and they've held up pretty well. They've done their job, and they've held up pretty well. So as I use them, and I wear them out, I will replace them and upgrade them with Makita. So this shelf is all of my air nailers. Uh, and a box of nails. I really like these airstrike nailers. You know, Ryobi kind of gets a bad rep as, a, as an inexpensive tool, but they do have some tools that really work well. Uh, you know, this guy here, 18 gauge nailer, this thing does really, really well. I've used this a ton for doing trim, uh, building furniture and cabinetry. It just, it just works. This is the 15 gauge trim nailer. And it works pretty well too. So for the money, you know, I'm not doing trim every single day. So I'm not, you know, wearing them out and I'm not taxing them. But they do get used fairly frequently. And they've never let me down. They've always done a good job. <coughs> so down here, got our job site radio, which we don't use a lot. Uh, I'm not big on job site radios, especially with the customers when they're home. Don't want to intrude on their space. And their time, got another a battery operated or plug in light back there that's pretty bright. Um, knee pads. This is my little tripod, I gotta take that in. Uh, my power painter. And then my shop vac garage down below. So, shop vac tucks right in there, rides really well. Little uh, 10 gallon trash can. Couldn't really fit a big trash can in here. So, we put a 10 gallon in here. And then we, we did here in this corner is uh, demo tool storage and levels. So it took some uh, three inch PVC, strapped it down and put a four foot level in here. Not gonna go anywhere. The six footer goes all the way to the top of the cabinet. So I just put a little bungee up there. You can just slip the bungee off, take the six footer off. Uh, sledgehammer, big pry bar. I've got uh, some more demo tools to get in here. So what I'm probably going to do is take this one, this three inch, take it out and make it a five inch so that I can fit a few more things in it. And then that'll all be captured sitting upright. It takes the least amount of storage space that you can have. So broom closet, and then this is where we bring our electrical in for our shore power. And we've got room here. We're going to put a, a 12 volt battery and an inverter as well. So that way we can run the trailer off 12 volt when we can't get into shore power. Just hang my uh, tool belt right here. And then this guy, this again was set up for the, the rigid system, but it's the, the dimensions work for the DeWalt and Milwaukee's, you know, any of the rolling pack out systems. So basically what I did over here was I made some cubbies this one's kind of my cleaning cubby, so there's my contractor bags, there's a couple of uh, spray bottles back there with Windex and uh, other cleaning supplies. Keep some back stock of hair nails, nails and screws. This is my, these guys are my uh, wall mounting kit, so I keep anchors in here. 
Got some uh, some smaller ones, got some bigger ones in the other one. So if I need to, to anchor something, I can do that. Mounting up a TV, mounting up some shelves, whatever. Then down on the bottom is, that's a uh, mechanics tool set. So sockets, wrenches, that kind of stuff. On the bottom, this piece, this garage is going to be for a generator. And then I've got, what, seven shelves? One, two, three, four, five, six shelves. Got six shelves here for my pack outs. A uh, couple of different things. This is really kind of nice the way I've got these set up. It's all passive, so they're just lips on them. But I've got one set up, just kind of general hand tools, mark out, marking tools, screwdrivers, a, you know, some screws, some nails, marking pins, extra recip saw blades. Just kind of the basics, so if I go into a job, I can take this and just a couple of other pieces, and we're all we're pretty well set for most of the little stuff that we need to do. Uh, if we're doing bigger jobs, and obviously we'll take more, then this one is probably one of my most used. This is my Makita 12 bolt kit. Sorry about that, hard to do this one-handed. My Makita 12 volt kit. So in here, I uh, have got a drill, a driver, a drill, recip saw, which this thing is great. Um, if you haven't watched the, the Makita videos where I did a review on these, these are fantastic. Nice little recip saw, get it into a lot of places you can't get a big one. And then an oscillating multi-tool, some extra batteries and blades, and then a charger goes right in here as well. So I've got a full kit that I can just take with me right on in. I just take, roll out my pack out here, set that on top, it latches on, roll it in the house, off you go. Then I've got, this one's got all different kinds of screws, construction and drywall. This one's got PEX plumbing fittings. These are, these are great as well. These are like 10 bucks for two of them, nine something at uh, Home Depot. Oh, uh, this is wood screws, and then the bottom one is electrical connectors, uh, and then I've got a, a free shelf down here. So I'm probably going to buy one more of these and set it up for a Craig Jig kit. So I've got a Craig Jig and all the associated stuff there for cabinet making and uh, built-in making. Got uh, this nice Gorilla three-foot. Actually, you get uh, you with a you can get up to about eight foot with this one. Small, light, it folds down into about, oh, I think it was five inches. So it's very thin, very lightweight. Home Depot just had them on sale for like 29 bucks. Okay. Uh, up top, storage bins. This is where I'm going to keep a back stock of, and I got to get some stock in the trailer. You know, outlets, switches, switch covers are going to go in here. Uh, this is right now, this is air, air accessories fittings, that kind of stuff, that's going to go into one of the dual T stacks, that'll free this up, got a little space here to put something, this is uh, tapes and little, you know, cable clamps, that kind of stuff, fastening stuff, this wide open at the moment, and then zip ties and other fastening pieces in this one, and then up top here I can still, I've got some storage I can use up top. Because I, as we as we move along here, one of the next things we're going to add is track saw. So track saw tracks will go up here. Um, looking at maybe doing some level storage up here as well. And then we've got our table saw and miter saw. So we've got the Dewalt table saw. We've got the cobalt miter saw, 10 inch. Uh, I tell you what, it's been a good little saw for the money. It cuts straight. It does a good job. I just put it on this Dewalt. Uh, stand to give it a little bit bigger stand a little bit more uh, stability but overall it's been a good little setup even on the on the old stand it worked great so that's kind of the trailer you know that took a little bit longer than what i thought it would tried to talk fast hope everybody could keep up here maybe you guys will find some ideas for your trailer out of this um and hopefully this will help somebody when I get everything finally finished, we will do another video with the final version of everything. 
uh, all done up here so that uh, when I get the T-stacks in place and some of the other little storage things in place, then we'll do one more video unless it changes. So I appreciate it, guys. Thanks for coming along today. Please like, subscribe, ring the bell. If you have any questions, please holler at me. Until later, guys. Thanks for coming.